it is part of a writer's job in some way or another to be no respecter of boundaries, to challenge people's preconceptions about what's literature and what's not, or what's appropriate or what's not, uh, what can be said and what can't be said. A great work of literature transcends its genre, whatever genre that might be, and that includes literary fiction. Writing for me grows out of reading. And as a child, I wanted to become a writer because I loved to read so much. I loved the books that I was reading so intensely, so passionately, that I wanted to make my own. Well, when I first started writing, I was actually uh, living at my mother's. There wasn't really a place for me to work, but they had this crazy workroom, kind of a spidery, dusty, dirty, crawl space. I had a very primitive computer. It was, you know, steam powered and, um, and there, was, you know, there were hamsters inside on little wheels. I, I moved a steamer trunk and I put a chair on top of a steamer trunk. And if I sat on the chair on the steamer trunk, I could reach the keys. And, you know, I actually hurt myself pretty badly one time falling off my chair while working. So it was dangerous. I started to work, write a novel. The only problem was I didn't really know how to do that. It was this whole magical, Thing. Someone waved a wand over me and suddenly I was a writer. Looking back now, I realized just how extraordinary and lucky that was. Reading is pure pleasure. For me, pleasure is a deep, profound experience of contact with another mind taking place on the page. It's that insistence that great writing puts on the reader to pay attention not just sit back and relax and let it all wash over you, but sit forward and listen closely. <laughs>